Hello. Thank you for watching this short introduction to the Amplitude Analytics platform. Today we're looking at basic fun analysis and conversion drivers in order to understand why users are converting or dropping off in a funnel. In this example, I'm an e-commerce shop with a website where users can go to search for items, add items to their shopping cart, and in the end hopefully complete a purchase. Now I have already set up this funnel in Amplitude Analytics, but of course at any point in time I could add more steps to it. In a funnel analysis, Amplitude gives us an option to look at different metrics. For example, right now we're looking at conversions. We could also be checking out how the conversion has changed over time, or for example, how long it takes users to move through the full funnel. Now in dark blue, we see how many users convert from one step to the other in the funnel. In the light shaded blue, we can see the drop-offs between the individual steps. And in the end, we see that there's around 11% of our users converting the full funnel. These are really important KPIs, but quite often it's more important to understand why users are converting or dropping off in order to make the right decisions about our product. For this, we have built the conversion drivers section. It gives us a list of user actions and how they correlate with the conversion or the dropping off in our funnel. So in our case, the checkout item and the add payment info action, they both have a quite high correlation to the conversion of our funnel, which makes sense because both are actions that users need to take in order to be able to complete a purchase in my application. So we're really looking for more user actions that are not that obvious, but still have quite a good correlation to the conversion of our funnel in order to formulate hypotheses of things we want to change that might then in the end increase our conversion rates. The view recommended item user action looks quite promising. It has a medium positive correlation, so it still has a relevant meaning to the conversion of our funnel. And now I could go ahead and make some tests with the view recommended item to see if in the end a better conversion can be reached. This concludes our quick demo on basic funnels and conversion drivers in Amplitude Analytics. Thank you for watching and have a great day.